why self-intimacy is actually an essential tool, process, um, thing, <laughs> uh, principle to feel loved in your life, especially by yourself. Um, I know so many of you already know that there was the debate and that kind of the distinction between masturbation, self-pleasure, and then I used for a while the word self-play and like the last couple of months I started to use self-intimacy and the reason of that because who I relate to myself changed, has changed drastically and um, I still masturbate, I do self-pleasure too Self-intimacy for me is being actively and lovingly with myself um, in a very sovereign, authentic way based on connection and self-acceptance. What this thing is help, helps with, to me is to develop trust, to feel rooted in my life, in myself and I really needed that I'm so fucking grateful for self-intimacy because what I went through in the last this year actually from January my deep transformational um, period in my deep transformational period self-intimacy helped me to not just to survive, but to find so much warmth and love and unshakability in myself. I'm not saying that it is always like that because I'm not always self-intimate. I do self-intimacy practices in order to um, build it as a skill for myself to learn how to be with myself and I can do that um, for periods of times and then of course something happens and then uh, I'm not self-intimate I don't feel connected to myself I'm not deeply rooted and then I come back to myself so self-intimacy for me is really how I like to connect and acknowledge who I am and what is inside of me. I find it very common with my clients especially that um, they don't self-pleasure much or they have huge resistance um, related to uh, self-pleasure because they think that they have to pleasure themselves in self-intimacy but I give to myself is my presence and my acceptance and my connection and it doesn't need to be traditionally pleasure why I say traditionally pleasure because what's pleasure is uh, that is something also that is ready is actually started to feel different in my body I'm redefining um, what is pleasurable and what not and I started to embrace more and more in my life um, and recognize it as pleasure, but not because I wanted those things to be pleasure for me, but because I allowed myself to connect to these parts and feel all the love that sometimes it just inundating uh, everything in me. Um, so if you checked out some of my self-intimacy videos because I have self-intimacy videos here and practices you saw me crying being sad and find the pleasure in that and I done that alone in order to be self-intimate and connect you don't need anybody else actually one of the main reasons I for me is that I spend so much time in isolation is to go into this journey and explore and uh, 
I really have to be with me. And I choose to be with me in a way that is nourishing, that is accepting, and that is loving. Including my, the parts that may be I painful or yucky or and I, I feel are, are unacceptable. And I go with what is present in the moment. So how do I do that and how can you do that? And as I told you, I have several practices here, but just to like show how, for example, I do, I'm going to do a short one. Um, and also self-intimacy practices, my self-intimacy practices, sometimes it's just five minutes or four. Sometimes they are longer. I really like do lots of short practices rather than one long it's much easier to go into that and i don't feel like i'm working on myself i feel like i'm giving myself so i'm going to do what i feel like doing and then i'm going to tell you what's arising in me and how am i feeling what i started to do because my hands started to uh just uh stroke my thighs I'm just in that and while I'm stroking my thighs and I'm really present in that I can feel my palms war warming up and I so 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 feel my heart and my heart center oh, it's warm it's very alive I have some aches there but that's not that's like that I have had for a very long time now like an aching uh, heart in pain and I am with that I put one of my my palms over my heart and I just feel myself I acknowledge that I acknowledge the pain it's, it starts to feel like I have some kind of circular waves around my heart. It's almost like something very soothing it would just go like from my, my palm like all over my body and then just leaving. I don't want to do anything with this pain except being with it, connect. As long as I feel like this is what I want to do and then and I'm really present with what else is here. Do I want to do something else? And then I give that to me. Mm. I change my hand. I just hold. I just hold myself. It's almost like this kind of sharper pain or ache. It's when it's moved a little bit from my heart to my heart center here. And I can feel it in my throat. And my thought is like, where this pain is going to end? I feel stuck. I want to break free from this place. <sighs> and now I have to, let's call it need, to be with myself and with this saying I'm here for you, I'm holding you and my whole being in essence 
is looking for the beauty in this moment. And as I am experiencing it, uh, my pussy started like clenching and pulsating. And I have so much orgasmic energy just coming like up from my pussy. And my throat is throbbing. And I feel like a spiraling uh, energy just all around my vagina. And I still have to ache. It's not as intense as it was at the beginning. And it just started to move back to my heart. There's so much warmth here. It is almost like the energies of the wave, I feel like they are deepening. When I say deepening in a way that if it, there would be sound, then this energy would be like a deep And as I feel my heart, I don't feel any pain or ache, I feel movement, I feel like spiraling movement in the center of my heart and I feel my, uh, the top of my head tingling. Now I feel the call to almost like opening up from this place that I feel felt like my heart and my and the top of my head into more more than me, more than myself. Just put my hand down. But I feel it's my, my leg, it's kind of feeling like a kind of a heaviness and it feels slowing down. I'm not moving but it feels like slowing down. Feeling my heart, that's very heavy. I mean, no. Feeling my heart is just so obvious. Like I can, I can feel my heart. I can feel my heart pumping. Hello, heart. Hello, body. Hello, life. And I was really focusing like inside of me, but no what I'm focusing is radiating myself from me into the world. And I had the scrunches again, like my pussies <laughs> moving. 
there is so much orgasmic energy and intensity. And I allow myself to emanate me. <laughs> so this is how, for example, a self-intimacy practice looks like. It's a, it's a journey. It's a journey in the depth, in the richness of you, me, life, where I allow myself to experience something more, something deeply rooted and connect. And really, I allow myself to feel anything. I don't want it to be pleasurable or painful or process something. I just me and not me. I am life as much as I am me and myself. So thank you for being with me. I hope this helps somebody and have an amazing life, the one that you are deeply craving for. I am Victoria. I'm a certified erotic blueprint coach and I help people to fuck the universe. And yes, it was a pleasure being with you and me. <laughs>